All right. Man, I really appreciate you guys. Howdy and hell, hi. No hello. We're not going low. We're not sending you to the low part of hell to go low, right? That's not a good greeting, actually, with the English language. Sometimes we, we go over that all the time with our WOTD, word of the day. Uh, how did you like the last few videos? We kind of went on some some stuff. We're going to really push them off. We're going to push some things today. Um, challenge your belief systems. This is what we're for. If you don't challenge your belief systems, you're not ready. Um, you'll stay in the tomb for a little longer. Somebody said, when, well, how do you get people to wake up? And I said, when they're ready to awake, when they're, it's time. And some people don't wake up, right? They, it takes a little bit. But I just want to appreciate all you guys who stay really tight and come here and listen, uh, interact, send messages, um, and all that. Just all you guys really appreciate you, really love you, really uh, definitely uh, the upping of subscriptions. Uh, and people getting involved and the, the, the say hey kids and all that and I'm not it's not a pun on Willie Mays who passed away recently right um, that's old timers will know what I mean older ones will know that's a baseball legend and great from the past right um, but those who, who just you know will connect to me more people connecting to me on uh, on Instagram catch me Instagram right Instagram, you can catch me on D Boy West Coast Uncensored. It's there, and I have some messages that have came through there. Um, do have a younger guest that will be coming on soon. I'll do. I will have an older guest that's been here before coming on soon. I want to get everybody. There's a group of people I want to get all together and have this little this little round table thing, and that's my goal. But it's getting the timing when they're ready and the timing of maybe a couple of others who are uh, younger and, and uh, more um, busy with some of the things that they're doing, don't have the, are not as much, uh, have their own business and stuff like that, are doing some side business stuff besides their job. Um, they are more caught for time, but uh, I want to shout out to them with James, right? Uh, 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 James, Charles, Clayton, Definitely Clayton and, and them said they'd be in James's timing, Venus timing. Um, definitely would want to get all of them in. Uh, Charles wants to do it. I mean, Charles, if it doesn't happen soon, we may end up doing one with us one on one. I will hit the uh, some others up to try to get a round table. I really like to get a few, but we're going to go in on something. We're going to go a little bit off the cuff, kind of a, a kind of off the cuff. And the WOT, the word of the day, are going to kind of collaborate together and create a child of understanding that will help you realize why certain things are important and why your belief systems will not serve you in the long run. They'll actually catch you in a trap. Your dogma, belief systems, we go into etymology, show these things. So we're going to go in a little bit today. So um, definitely are. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. Let's see if it's all here, like I want it or need it to be. Definitely for me, this part needs to go away. Just that I can see it, you can't see it. I'm going to uh, open up my uh, uh, trusty Westy tab. We're gonna go full. And why this part over here is not. I didn't want that hit there. This part here, um, definitely didn't want this part here. Um, let's do this again. Let's see. Mm, I want to suspend this, but we're not going to open up this one yet anyway. So let's go to. Uh, uh, Let's go into this first, and we're gonna open this up fully. Bear with me. You got a, an older guy still learning the computer phase of this. I know you see the tabs above, but we're gonna get into this. And this is a word, and it's called. Um, this is a ancient or very very uh, a goddess, a goddess, possibly 
right? A goddess of Greek mythology, and it's also was adopted by Rome. It's uh, getting into philosophy again, right? And it's, um, her name is Cerise, right? We're going to find out about Cerise in this video, what she does, what she's about, and how this fits even into etymology. Brace yourself. So right away, we're seeing the very first part of this. So the word church comes from the Anglo-Saxon root word Circe and stems from a Greek name of a goddess, Circe, the daughter of Helios, the Roman god adopted from Greek mythology. The word church, as we learned, was a building dedicated to a pagan Celtic war worship of rituals. So again, all what we see with the Abrahamic religions, all what they call pagan, right? And if you look up that word, pagan is not what you think it is. They put the bad name on it. But when you get your intelligence work and you start doing your own study and letting go of the past, I'm telling you, your dogma will not serve you, right? It will definitely not serve you. So we're going to go to etymology next. Um, yeah. Let's uh, go up a little bit. So we're going to go to the top. Right away, we have the word seriously. I looked up the word seriously, right? Beautiful enchantress of the Isle of Ea, who transformed into swine those that drank from her cup. So those who participated with this, this they call it her enchantress, right? Named from the Isle of Ea, who transformed and who transformed into a swine those who drank of her cup. And now you just guys got just read. The, the one I just pulled up, we're going to go a little deeper on this. I'm going to even show you on this page that Cerise definitely here uh, cast, turns swine to those who drink from their cup. And if you'd go and look at the, the story and read it, it was the men who were in a building. They, they, they drank for a cup and she turned them into swine. Um, she was an uh, enchantress, and many called her a goddess too, an enchantress, a witch turning the swine, turning them to pigs, right? And in the story, you go, okay, that's a pretty neat story. But if you remember when we read here, which we're gonna go back and forth here, the word church comes from the same word. The etymology of the word church is seriously. So remember that. We're gonna head over back to here. We're gonna go down a little farther. If you see the word seriously, you, that's, you know what happens. And we can see that it's a uh, uh, feminine, word noun and it comes from a woman fema the woman the female and uh it's a feminine aspect right earlier such a woman might be called a seriously right as you go down so let's go down a little farther and here we're going to stop so the old english seriously place of assemblage set aside for christian worship is the body of christian believers right so Cerise automatically is really the name of the church. The church comes from the word Cerise, the bottom part of it. Church is English. When you go up a little bit farther, you're going to find out that the word in between that, that the word here, Cerise, is actually the word Kirk. I don't know if I should open that. Um, yeah, it's going to be the word Kirk. And in all this, look, I might as well open this. Let you guys see it. The word church comes from the word kirka, which we get through the Norse and we get the word Kirk, right? Like Captain Kirk, right? We see it's a Lord's house ruler and swollen, powerful, but the origination of the etymology of the foundation where it begins in before it goes into these other languages is again, as we said before, is the word church, is seriously. And the story of Cerise, we'll go over here, watch, because it's a very interesting story. If I can pull a little bit to get a better read, uh, Roman 11th, uh, Roman letter, you know, the Phoenician Semitic word, it goes all into that. Uh, early uh, conformed, the words had a ritual importance going down, the Greek name was brought forth, often the church words, and uh, trying to show you this. I don't see it. I'm going to tell you what. I looked up this word a while ago, years ago, actually, because I've known this for a while. Um, I'm trying to find it. The Kirk, the word Kirk. 
So church comes from the word Kirk, which comes from the word Circe. And the story of Circe is that she's also, we can even see the word circle, which I see it in etymology. But um, yeah, um, but we're gonna even get a better look at this. Um, so really here, um, I remember looking at the etymology in the dic older dictionaries, it was a lot more descriptive. So it's a little hiding here. I see this hiding, uh, just kind of being vague with it because I had the etymology dictionary, which is amazingly came up missing uh, during a move, which why would anybody want to, and if you're gonna get an etymology dictionary, get an older one because the newer ones are even hiding stuff more and more. But all over here, Circe, Cypher, some of the other words, remember etymology. So it doesn't say Kirk, but when you re read up here, it mentions the word uh, Kirk, right? Uh, as we did, it comes from, down through the word Kirk. Um, as we read another part of it, when we read church, you're looking at the word Kirk in Dutch, you're going into German, you're reading the word Kirk. But the word Circe, as we've seen, is the word church. It tells you right here that this is where the word comes from. It comes Old English, Circe, place of assemblage set aside for work, is, comes from the word Kirk. Circe, I mean church and Circe are the same words as we've seen here. So the word church comes from the Anglo-Saxon root word Circe, stems from a Greek stems, the beginning, before any changes to fit any other agendas, before the language of, of, of the Dutch and the Germans, which ends up being Kirk A and Kirk. I know a lot of Kirks in my life with the first name Kirk, but I know some a lot of people with the last name Kirk. The daughter of Helios, the, the, the Roman sun god adopted from Greek mythology. The word church was also was learned in a building dedicated to, like we said here. So this is where we're gonna go. And then here in etymology, she gets it to you, Dent Circe, and here's Kirk, right, right here. The, in, uh, from Kirk, Greek, Kirk. But it goes down to spelt with a K-I-R-K -K, with the E left off later. Uh, yeah, this is very interesting. So the word Circe, which is uh, Roman, Enchantress who turned the people when they participated in their cup, drinking of the same cup, drinking of the same dogma, drinking of the same religion, because Circe is church. In my time, I told you I used to be pastor. I used to be pastor, prophet, whatever you call me. I went to the United States in the, and uh, established stuff in Central California, Modesto, Turlock. Uh, all through that Central Valley, Madera, Modesto, did some evangelistic stuff, did some uh, stuff as I was growing in my process of finding more truth until I totally leveraged it and left from the kingdom message. And I mentioned this before in about 213, 212, when I realized there's just more, there's more unveiling. And I've always left behind that, which is not when I find more. I'm, I just personally been able to adapt to it. When I see it's not a truth, boom, boom. That's done. So for me, but one of the things I always notice within the church realm, even before the kingdom realm, and I even look at to it with a, just an observation, there's 20 million denominations. None of them fellowship with each other because the Baptists don't fellowship with the Lutheran, the Pentecostals don't fellowship with the, with with either, and then the other churches, the independent churches that maybe are these these brand new bees right, that have these, were interdenominational, they don't fellowship with this one. They don't fellowship with anything outside of their belief systems because they all have different doctrine. There's always a division. That's the cup that they drank out of. Think about it. But here we're gonna go. I got a video from a, uh, uh, I'm gonna share with you. It's a very short one from many of you may know him, heard of him. He's the renowned, uh, uh, Jordan Maxwell, if you don't know, this man was in the 50s and 60s was telling the truth of the world and what things were, right? What things were, was telling truth of the way the world was, how things really functioned before computers, where he spent hours upon years in different libraries getting the accumulated information, right? 
this is Jordan Maxwell just really with this information and how far he went with it was just a just a great person who really founded a lot of people to realize certain things of mostly stuff outside of you like how this matrix really functions and what you're really doing and playing with what you're believing in this so let's just watch this video he's going to break it down it's not very long i will stop it if i need be if you're going to believe something you better do your homework and find out where what the words really mean that's why we do etymology because he he jordan you can always go look at him and find his stuff he's passed away he was i believe when he passed away which was a little over a year ago two year and a half ago he was approaching 90. um he was like i said he was doing a foundational work for a lot of people who are getting the information kind of in the 50 60s maybe maybe early 60s through the 70s through the 80s and then when the computer came in i mean he's been on a lot of conscious people in the last 10, 12, 15 year shows, the, the, the Santos Bonaches, everybody honored him for what he was, for what he brought. But most of it wasn't a deep spiritual understanding and knowledge. It was how this world function as the matrix and what, the, what they're doing and how they're doing it. And like I said, go to him. So he right away is on it. He's telling you about your belief system and you need to find out. Because the men who run this world from behind the scenes are telling you something and they're doing something and unless you know how to read the code you're never going to figure out what's going on here a classic example before we get started on this word chief cornerstone a classic example is the word church many people use the word church and have no concept in their mind where it comes from where that word comes from the word church comes from a, a scottish word kirk which gives us Captain Kirk of the good ship Enterprise. Okay, we're talking money, Enterprise, Captain. U.S. Enterprise, why he's bringing that up, he was one of the ones that brought out how, how we're really not a country. Uh, even though we think we are, we're really a corporation because it's business. That's why in another video, he actually broke down the U.S. Enterprise was telling you it was a corporation in Star Trek because they were definitely star tricking you on track. <laughs> I just got that one. I just brought that one. The trick is a trick, right? And you go, oh, those are the same words. No etymology. The I and the E are easily replaceable. It comes from the sound fa same foundation. That's etymology. No, learn the rules. That's why you said you better know what you believe. And Kirk, you think that's silly? It's very serious. <clears throat> Kirk. And Scottish is church in English, but Kirk in Scottish goes back to a Greek goddess named Mother Circe. Mother Circe becomes Mother Circe in Rome. And then the Knights Templars took the worship of Mother Circe from Rome into Scotland and called it Mother Kirk. And the English call it Mother Church. So once you begin to see church is merely Kirk, which is merely... Um, yeah, um, what you, what do you believe? What have you been led to believe? Have you, you know, and I'm telling you the biggest thing to do is get rid of your belief systems because what's going to set you free within is the truth. And that's why we do etymology all the time. Showing you this language is always funkiness. And I didn't say, I said funk, like grand funk railroad or funk music or funky, funky town, right? Funk. It always puts us in a funk, not really knowing things, assuming just because you were told something and you, you equipped yourself with this belief system. Belief systems are not what, in this day and age, it's not about believing. We waking up to not, we're knowers. You know, I definitely keep putting that forward. Really, Cersei, go back and look at the um, mythology of Mother Cersei in Greece. Mother Circe, according to Greek mythology, was able to hypnotize people with her magic and bring them into her house and close the door and take from them their mentality and their brains and turn them into animals and eat them. That is the story that he's sharing with you a little bit deeper if you go read the story of 
Mother Circe, right? I kind of shared it, trying to get it through etymology and seeing it's not being totally clear, trying to get it through uh, the writing that I, I put up and put there showing you where it came from. Uh, I noticed not long ago this was more accessible, and actually the etymology pages and books, the older ones, not very long ago would even be more descriptive on this, and they're just very kind of not being descriptive. You've seen how they had Cersei and then the church here, and it's really just vague, very vague, and it used to not be that way. But then you see what she do. She ate the people and put them in, uh, uh, put them in a what? put them in a trance, put a spell on them, and put them in a trance. I'm going to tell you what, I came from that, that, I know that system very well. It puts a spell on you with the dogma and the belief systems that you're believing stuff that just, just, like, do snakes really talk? I mean, come on. And so what we need to do is be equipped to know what we know, not what we believe. And this is precisely what Mother Church has done. All over the world, she has brought in people and took from them their mentality, their intelligence, and their natural ability to think, and shut the door behind and now live off of them. Mm. They send checks, and she lives off of them. Let me warn you that the same people who have given you Illuminati, who have given you your international banking cartels, who have given you your your corrupt governmental systems Ooh. has also given you the church. There is, a, there is a story in the Bible, in the New Testament, we call Christianity. It is a hidden story. It's filled with symbols. It's a metaphor. This is why the Bible is called the greatest story. The, the greatest story ever told It's just a story. But it's very interestingly woven. He says it's just a story, and you're like, well, you're over here saying, don't believe. He's telling you the story is a metaphysical story, the hidden story, hidden knowledge, occultic. It's not meant to me taking a red straight forward and taking his literal history, because if you do that, you got problemos, which we see. Right? I mean, the problemos are there. Listen more. We don't got much. It's not very long. It's only 30 more seconds. As to symbolics, metaphors. And once you understand what the symbols mean, it finally hits you. Wow. Now I see what the Bible is saying. And it's not saying anything like what you thought Mother Church had taught you. The church is merely a corporate entity founded in Europe by the Knights Templars, the same people today we call international bankers. Wow. If you need to record anything over the internet, I cannot think of a more seamless way than Riverside to do it. We're now having a look at Riverside's editor. Riverside has- All right, we'll be done with that, yeah. Uh, and, uh... Let's stop the share. Uh, it's kind of a mixture of the, I kind of globbed this together, blobbed it together. A I had a creation because I was going to use Cersei for the word of the day because it's in there, right? But then I took it into off the cuff, added some stuff to it. We did a lot of etymology, a story showing you what it were derived from. And then we did Jordan Maxwell. Um, look it up, do, do your own homework on Cersei. Um, you'll definitely uh, see it, but it, it was more attainable now. I was even on, on Wikipedia looking up Cersei, and it told the story, but it really was trying to protect, telling me if I said the connection of the word church in language, and you've seen what he said, it came from the word Kirk. Church, Kirk, church is how we received it in English, church. It was Kirk, came in from Cersei before it became Kirk. It's there. That's why it's not about believing, it's about knowing really what kind of situation. That's why I keep saying, what do we believe, what do we know, and where are we at? If you're not asking the why questions, if you become a nosy, why, uh, uh, um, curious person, you will find out. If you don't 
realize because I would think most people would look at certain things because I got you know questions. One of the questions that drive me was what happens when you die, right? We have all this stuff, and you know, when you start finding out stuff and knowing stuff, you know, a lot of uh, stuff becomes, especially within Pharisee, becomes silly as it can be, and people believe it. Yeah, yeah, and you know that. If you came out, good for you to come out, because this is what this channel is about, the people who've come out. If you're barely coming out and you like this, go ahead and, and watch. What I'm saying, go and watch my older videos, please. I have some from two years ago in certain places. The toolbox I did recently, what is a toolbox, creating your toolbox. I'm going to do an inner child uh, thing here soon, which is going to feed right into your tool into your toolbox a little deeper than we covered the first time why you need a toolbox what's how can we deal with our inner hurts traumas and stuff when we could have maybe made the change and what what are we using for that that may be outdated or not might be complete and we're gonna we're gonna actually have a video about that and i'm gonna share some stuff so you guys have a, a great day remember not all everything that seems to be what it appears to be the word Kurt comes from the word Cirrusy, and she cast a spell on the people and turned them into swine. <laughs> That's what happened. That's where it comes from. See you guys later. We'll talk soon.